Welcome back to Secret Weapons, and today we are taking a look at two instruments from Josh Williams' guitars. Okay, first things first, I didn't bring a mic stand with me on this trip, so uh, so bear with me on this. So we're doing things a little bit different today. Um, this is, I think, my first proper Secret Weapons video that isn't a pedal review. Um, I've done some stuff focusing a little bit on amps before, uh, but I've never done a guitar video specifically, and I've been meaning to. I've got a couple of guitars that I really want to focus on for some videos, um, but this just kind of became this perfect opportunity to kind of take my first swing into this. Uh, maybe not perfect opportunity because like I literally didn't bring a mic stand with me on this trip. That's how ill prepared I am. If you know me at all, you know I'm based up in Sacramento in Northern California. Uh, I am currently down in the Palm Desert area for the week with my family. I wanted to still get some recording done while I was down here. So I brought a little mini pedal board, uh, the little Walrus Audio 3 Mako series pedal, pedal board, just totally by itself and no guitar. And I just put the ask out on the internet of like, if anybody in Southern California, Palm Springs, that area, has a guitar I can borrow for the week, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Because I'm bringing a pedal board and a recording interface, but no guitars. And Josh was kind enough to reach out um, after we had landed in LA and offered to bring me a couple of his guitars that I could use for the week. And so he drove these up from his spot down in the San Diego area the first night I was here. And I am so, so floored by how good these instruments sound. It is. It is crazy. Specifically, he dropped off a Mockingbird and a Stella. The Mockingbird being his take on a 335 style hollow body guitar, and the Stella being a hollow body arch top kind of guitar of his own design. The first of those two guitars is this. This is the Mockingbird, which is his take on a 335 style guitar. And first of all, just... What else in the world looks this good? This is, this is gorgeous. And this thing sounds as good as it looks, as you heard from that intro video. You have a PAF in the bridge and a P90 in the neck. Um, I'll put up on the screen what specific pickups those are because I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but this guitar is incredible. It is an absolute work of art. It's been so much fun to play this week. Number two is the much heftier original design of his. This is a Stella. This is a single cut hollow body with like a serious block in the middle of it. Um, it is phenomenal. It's uh, Lawler low wound imperial uh, humbuckers. So think like low output, kind of resonant and chimey. And, and this guitar is amazing. The Bigsby on it's great. The the pickups, the two, I love I love simple two knob guitars. I don't like the four knob thing all the time. Look at the silver on this thing. Look at the silver binding. Like from the front, it looks pretty unassuming, but but I just there's so much fun to play. These guitars feel so smooth, so sleek, so well designed and well engineered. These guitars have been a blast to play this week. As far as guitars that kind of exist on the more Gibson side of the Venn diagram, which is not something that I usually spend a lot of time in, uh, these are some of the best guitars I've ever played on that side. Um, these outplay basically every Gibson I've ever played and are comparable to the one time I got to play an original 59 Les Paul in terms of fit, feel, sound quality, all of that. I That sounds really like hyperbolic, but but it's true. It's true. I like that 335 style Mockingbird more than I like any Gibson I've ever played. This guitar outperforms basically every other hollow body I've ever played in my entire life as well. I am really, really impressed with these.
So I spent the week with them. I spent the week putting together a few different videos that you may have seen on my Instagram. They're gonna be compiled in this video too because, because Josh is on his way to pick up the guitars in a couple of hours here. So I don't have time to sit down and do the usual 45 minute run through that I normally would for a video like this. So instead, what I did was spent the week recording into my little walrus board. But for this song that we're gonna go out on today, we're doing things a little bit differently. Um, I actually recorded these guitars direct into my DAW, not through any effects. And so when I get back home, back up to Sacramento, I'm actually going to reamp them all through my kind of like wider selection of pedals and gear that I have at home to try to build out some really interesting sounds from the stuff that I captured while I was down here. Hopefully that turns out well. We haven't done this before. This is, this is a new kind of video for this channel. I think that's fine. So yeah, I think that about does it. We're keeping this video a little bit, a little bit light. Um, I hope you enjoy the ending song for this. Um, I hope you enjoyed the sounds that I got off of these. If you wanna hear more of them, check out my Instagram where I've got a bunch of videos of these up. And um, please check out, check out Josh Williams' guitars. Um, his stuff is amazing, California built. Uh, he's a great guy, he's an amazing builder. Uh, he is worth your time and attention. So uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, let's see what we can do with the stems that we got while we were down here. Uh, Future Mark interrupting here just for a second to say uh, a couple of things. One, it is currently late May, 2021. Uh, and it blows my mind to think that it took me this long to get around to editing this video that I shot back in February. Uh, I want to thank Josh again for letting me use these guitars for the week. Uh, revisiting them uh, here several months later has been such a treat. They are phenomenal guitars and listening back to the videos I shot then as well as like playing around with reamping them now has just been just such a such a great experience. It's been so much fun to reminisce on how good those guitars are. So if you want to know more about them, please get in touch with Josh. He's a great guy. Like I said, for this last part, I recorded everything dry, just dry direct in guitar stems uh, for later reamping. I don't have things that do proper reamping. So all I really did was uh, run a line out from my Apollo to my pedal board. Um, and so I'm going to run you through what's on the pedal board right now so that you know what you're hearing as we go into this last part. The signal chain, as you can see, is the Chase Bliss Audio Condor into the Cali 76 compressor. We're going into the Schnobletone Daily Driver, the Benson Preamp, the Maris Hydra, the Hologram FX Microcosm, the Strymon Volante, the Strymon Flint, the Maris Mercury 7, and the Walrus ACS-1 into a Pinstripe Pedals Disso Plus DI. Different combinations of these pedals will be on and off for the different layers, but this at least should give you some context on what it is that you're hearing other than these amazing guitars. So thank you for watching and enjoy.